So by reading the problem, you find out that you know the empirical formula and you know the molecular formula's mass. What you don't know is two things. One, how uh, much does the empirical formula weigh? But we can figure that out. That's pretty easy. We'll do that in a minute. The other thing you don't know is what the actual molecular formula is. You know it's a multiple of this. It might be two times this, or three times this, or four times this, or it might even be equal to this. We don't know. So we're going to do uh, a little bit of math, and we'll find out. So the first thing you have to do is get the empirical formula, which we have, and the mass of the empirical formula. Can't do anything unless you have those two things. So CH3O, carbon weighs 12.0 grams. Hydrogen, there's three of them, and they each weigh 1.0. And oxygen weighs 16.0. So if you put all of this together, the 12 plus the 3 plus the 16, you get 31.0 grams per mole. So if I had one mole of this, it would weigh 31 grams. Now the molecular formula's mass is 62 grams. So if we take the molecular formula mass and divide it by the empirical formula, so it's always molecular formula divided by empirical formula. If we divide these two, we realize that this molecular formula is two times larger than this. The molecular formula is two times larger than empirical. So if the empirical is CH3O and we multiply this by 2, it's going to be C2 2 times 3 is 6 and then 2 times the imaginary 1 is 2. So C2H6O2 is the formula for the, or the molecular formula for this particular compound.